hi everyone welcome back to the channel and on today's video we are doing more work on the mark 5 golf gti as you can see at the moment it has gray leather interior and it actually doesn't look too bad but we are going to upgrade it to this interior well, cat's in there. Right, so let's run through everything that I've got for the car. I'm guessing I've got everything. If there's something that I'm missing, let me know in the comments. Right, starting off with the most important thing, the gear, the gear knob. This was very hard to find. Multifunction steering wheel, edition 30, red stitching. I've got that to go on. Handbrake. It's a bit dirty, it needs a bit of a clean, but it is an addition 30. Driver seat, driver seat needs a bit of a valet. Passenger seat, the base for the back seat, back of the seat with that bit. Also, got the other side of the seat. Um, I have got this, which I'm going to be putting that on as well as that I bought I don't know if you remember in my in my uh, one of my previous videos I said that the rear cup holder had broken so I've even bought the cup holder to fix that problem and that's it yeah first thing I think I'll do is move the car off the drive and onto the road I think it's just a little bit more space to remove the driver's seat, I have to remove four M10 bolts that hold the seat in place. I loosen and remove the two at the front, and then I get into the rear of the car and loosen and remove the M10s at the back. It can be a little bit fiddly to try and disconnect the wiring for the airbag, heater seat, and the seatbelt alarm. But once this is done, you just need to move the seat out of the car. My son gave me a hand because these seats are heavier than what they look. And then repeat this for the passenger side. The rear seats were a little bit trickier to get out than I thought they would be. So a quick internet search and we get there in the end. Right, we have got the interior out, well the seats anyway, don't know what you make of this, it just looks like a bit of a mess at the moment. These back seats were quite hard to get out, so basically with the back seats there is a clip there that you've got to unhook, so you've got to get your hands under, under the seat to unhook this, and then you've got these clips these clips along here that that hook in but you just need a screwdriver I used a crowbar believe it or not and I put the crowbar under the seat there and just pulled it up and that unhooks the the hooks that are inside there we'll um, crack on because we've got to get the handbrake out so this has got to come out somehow and then um, and then it's putting everything back together I think so as you can see we have successfully removed the armrest from the car but if you look closely you will notice that other bits of the car have been removed and we had to do this in order to get the handbrake out. The problem I've got is I wasn't paying much attention when we was taking everything apart. Right. 
right this has been way harder than what i thought just to get the handbrake in we've literally had to take the center console apart fully dismantle it so we have taken the original handbrake out of the car and we have now got the um, edition 30 handbrake in the car we had to take the whole of the center console out which is not a bad thing because we can, I can basically give it a clean but on top of that I can put the new gear knob in so to do that we have to do all of those things anyway but look at the mess me and my son are doing it and I'm hoping that he's got a better memory than me when it comes to putting this back together which we are pretty much going to do now now we scratch our heads as we try to figure out how everything goes back together we start by lining up the center console so we can fix it in place right Gosh, this is hard work. We are trying to remember what we took off the, off the console last in order to put it back together first, but we just can't figure it out. But then my son has a light bulb moment and as if by magic, he remembers. At this stage, we are starting to lose daylight, so we decide to call it a day and get back at it tomorrow. Bright and early, we are back at it, and the first thing we do is fix the armrest in place and then replace the broken cup holder. Very slow progress. Um, at the minute, we've got the cup holder. So we've managed to fit the cup holder in and we've got the Edition 30 handbrake in place. Right, we're just about to put the gear knob in the car. Before we do, we've got to bear in mind that this Edition 30 gear knob that I have got has come from, um, has been ordered from America, which means it's a left-hand drive gear knob, which I'll show you now. So this is how it would be in America. This is my old gear knob and this is how it is in the UK. So as you can see, all the indicators are on the right hand side in the UK and on a left hand drive car, all the indicators are on the left basically. All I need from this is the gator. I don't need anything else. From my old gear knob, I need this stuff underneath here, which which is the thing that lights up and uh, tells you what gear um, what gear you're in. So I'm going to remove all of that and put it into the new one, and then hopefully we can get this um, straight into the car. In, handbrake is in. Very fiddly, but look how good does that look. That was very hard to get in there. How good those things look. Now we'll get the seats in.
the back seats are in. Tell me what you think. What I'm going to do is put the front seats in, but um, remember when I was saying that this car, this, this actual GTI is fairly specced. Well, I'll show you the little things that this car has that some cars just don't. So on my actual GTI standard leather seats, I had uh, these, which is the drawer. It, um, it goes under the seat. Uh, it's that way. Goes under the seat, and I've uh, taken this out because I'm going to fit it on um, my Edition 30 seats, which, as you can see, don't have any drawers. Installing the Edition 30 seats was for some reason easier than removing the GTI seats. But it's the exact same method, but in reverse. Screw in the two M10 bolts at the front of the driver's seat, and then do the same at the back. And you pretty much repeat for the passenger seat. Right, we've made steady progress, um, and I mean it's steady, but we're getting there. So look at those seats, look at those. This car looks so different already, um, even the seat that I am in. So what I've done, put the um, drawers in underneath the seat, so that's the passenger side and that's the driver's side. So those drawers are now in place. As I said to you before, handbrake is in place. Gear knob, look at that, is in place. Now the only thing we're gonna do, which we're actually gonna do right now, we're gonna do this steering wheel, and we're gonna do that, that trim there. Right, everything is in place, what we set out to do with the car. Um, starting with the seats, the full interior is in, as I showed you a little bit ago. Full interior is in, uh, gear, gear knob, handbrake, even this. We've got the steering wheel in as well. This steering wheel came with paddles, which is a bonus. Um, I mean, mine's got paddles, but this has got like the extended paddles on it, so I don't have to buy any of those. Um, and yeah, it's it's been um, it's been emotional. And do you know what? It's all been um, 
made easier because my son helped me do it. He's sat on the wall over there. Uh, you know, he helped me. Without him, I, I, I would have struggled. He's only young, but, you know, he knows quite a bit for somebody who doesn't really mess about with cars. Neither do I, to be honest. But, yeah, um, massive thanks to him. And, um, yeah, this wouldn't be, this car wouldn't be an Edition 30 without the one thing that I think people associate with being an Edition 30. And that is this so obviously I know it's not a genuine edition 30 but you know what as far as I'm concerned when I put this on the car it's official so let's get this on the car and see how it looks I don't even know if that's straight but you know what I don't care but for me that makes this whole car official in my eyes and you know what i'm gonna end the video right there surely this this um deserves a subscribe a like share a comment much appreciate for watching the video and i will catch you in the next one round one right. i'm not mistaken Perfect KO.